Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports United News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a quick video on an impressive pitcher early for the Philadelphia Phillies, as they haven't had a boatload of them, but a surprisingly impressive pitcher. It's still early, though, so not going to get ahead of ourselves. But in four games has been Andrew Bellotti, who was out of the league other than last year with the Marlins uh, since 2015. And then guess who he pitched his first good game against in the league with the Phillies? The same Florida Marlins. It's funny how things kind of tie together. But for 2015, he was good with the Rays and then just kind of saw the minors for years on end. Never was able to find his way back up. Found his way back up with the Fish last year. And now is with the Philadelphia Phillies. And through four games has been good. And actually for his career, he's pitched 24 games in the bigs. Has had a good minor league career for sure as a good location guy. Not going to wow you with his stuff, obviously, but knows how to kind of command and think the game as a pitcher where there's too many guys that just kind of hurl it, hurl it, hurl it, throw it and gun it. And it takes them years into the career to think, to kind of know how to think with the hitter where he's a guy that obviously knows how to do that now at his age 30 season, being a guy that battled his ass off to get to the big at the minor league level. But he has a 3-3-4 and a 1-2-1 whip, nothing to scoff about, and 27 strikeouts in a 29.2 innings and a 3-3-4 in the bigs. Um, so he's able to be at least a fill-in bullpen piece, kind of like how James Norwood has been solid minus one outing this year, stepped back up again yesterday. He's been good minus one. These guys are perfect depth bullpen guys that you don't want them to be as relied upon as you rely on your Familias and Alvarados and Dominguez and all those guys because you want those guys to be the hurlers and that's been part of the issue with the Phillies as far other than Dominguez has only really been in two games and then otherwise has been fine. That's why his ERA isn't as low and his whip and all that, those other stats aren't as low as they could be. But anyway, back to Bellotti. He's impressed me um, early on because he's a pitcher that just doesn't overcome anything. He doesn't have a great fastball. He doesn't have a great off-speed pitch. He doesn't have a great breaking ball, but he has good ones and just knows how to kind of throw it up inside, then go low outside, go side to side, and just mix up his pitches well enough to throw hitters off. That's what he's been doing his entire minor league career. And now he gets to do it um, in the big leagues for the Philadelphia Phillies, at least for now, as they have some guys um, out in their uh, bullpen as well, injury-wise. So that affects the Phillies uh, when it comes to guys. And they also have a suspended guy in their bullpen as well. So that affects the Phillies when it comes to options out there. But when it comes to it, Bilotti's been uh, very solid for us, stepping up for the fact that Emmanuel got injured, Coonrod's injured. Um, well, and then you have others that have been out. Jojo Romero, who might have stepped up as a lefty. Ryan Scherf, who could have stepped up as a good location lefty. Bellotti kind of is filling that role as a righty, just a location guy that keeps it simple, stupid type guy. But this has been a quick video on my impressiveness with Andrew Bellotti. Um, to me, it's still very young. You can't get out in front of it. It's very young in the season. It's only four games in. Obviously, you can't get out in front of yourself. But it's been nice to see these depth pitchers pick up the slack a little bit for the Phillies because some of the guys in the Alvarados actually and the, the, some of the horses in the Familias, Alvarados, and Dominguez have had the inconsistent games where the Norwoods and Bellottis have only had one off game for Norwood and Bellotti none in four games. So obviously I don't think perfection is going to continue for Andrew Bellotti. But even if he finishes the season with a 3-5 ERA and fills in a good, solid depth bullpen role for us, that's a mighty fine, good diamond in the rough find that I don't think Matt Glintak in 8 million years would have ever found. And that's the difference between having a Dombrowski Hall of Fame level executive and a Glentak at the helm. Yes, all these guys are not fitting into a smooth, consolidated team yet. That's what we need the Phillies to come together as one in uh, this far as they're 7 and 10, three games below 500. But I think that will happen, and I think having this good depth pitchers as long as the top hurlers of the bullpen get going is just going to be even more helpful as the lineup and the rest of this team gets going. Because Bilotti's been impressive, and he's been impressive against solid teams in Milwaukee, Colorado, who's got off to a very good start, and Miami. So it's not like he's been... Um, impressive against slouch teams he's been impressive against good teams as well but this has been a quick video on Andrew Bellotti impressive early in the season peace out everybody stay safe and hopefully the Phillies kicking off again tonight at an odd 645 start time can have another good game against the Colorado Rockies peace out everybody and have a good day